So I've decided I wanna paint something again, but instead of painting a book cover, I wanna paint a bookshelf, like kind of zoomed in on a bookshelf. I saw a TikTok person painting something, uh, uh, it, this painting on a small canvas. So I'm going to mimic it and hopefully it goes well and I'm really excited. But first I have to go to the store, I have to go to Michael's and buy a canvas for it. And I also need to buy more black paint and I'm gonna pick up a couple other paints while I'm there. Okay, I am at Michael's, so I'm gonna go get the canvas and get the paint I need. Okay, so I'm thinking of getting something like this. So it's kind of long. Actually, this might be perfect. Let's see, this one's a little longer. I think I'm gonna buy both, and then whichever one I don't use today, I can use for something else. Okay, I found the paint section I was looking for. So I need all these paints, but I was gonna tell you guys, do not buy the Craft Smart paint. It might be the cheapest, but it's not good. Like, it really is not good. So I'm gonna be looking at Folk Art and other brands, but definitely not Craft Smart. Okay, so I just got the canvases. So one, two. Um, and then the paints I decided to buy were all like super neutral colors except for red because I think I might be low on it. And yeah, so I bought this like kind of creamy color, this color here. This is like a bluish gray color. I have like a purpley color, which I think I actually already have a color like this, but I didn't look when I before I left. And then a green color, like kind of a minty color. Okay, so I figured out that the TikTok girl who painted what I'm trying to paint today, uh, she goes by KT Canvases. So hopefully she's not insulted by the fact that I'm trying to kind of remake something that she made. So definitely check out her channel. It seems like she's pretty incredible. I've actually, I realized I've seen a lot of her paintings and have wanted to do them myself, but haven't had a chance to yet. But I guess now I'm going to do one today. So I'm going to try to paint it now. I have gotten my book loaded on my Surface Pro because my iPad is dead and I want to listen to my book while I'm reading. I'm using my uh, Greek Plain Great Value yogurt container for my brushes. And um, I'm just going to be looking at KT Canvas's painting and then kind of trying to mimic it. So it seems like she painted her entire canvas blue or like a dark blue first. Um, and then painted brown over it for the shelves. Okay, so another problem I might run into is that this canvas that I wanna use is really, really tall. Um, so we'll see how well this fits. Hopefully this angle is going to work. So I'm just gonna start by wetting the whole canvas and then um, I think painting it dark blue like it seems like she has. I decided I'm gonna use purple as the background because I just, I don't wanna risk not having enough blue. So I'm mixing the purple with black to make it like as dark of a purple as I can. So I've painted up and down, up and down, up and down this thing, and uh, it's not perfect. Like, I didn't blend the paint as well as I could have, but uh, given that I'm gonna be covering it up with like books anyway, I don't think it will really matter. So, yep, that's where I'm at. This is what we have so far. I have to paint the underside. All right, so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to paint the brown shelves, and then I'll start painting the books on there. Oh no, I just realized that the paint I want to use is Craft Smart, which I just told you guys stinks. It's not a good paint. I do have a darker brown that I can use, but it's not as bright. I, I grabbed a book. I actually haven't read this book yet, but um, I figure, okay, like if the book, you know, is going to go on a shelf, 
and usually there's like more room so I figured I'd make a shelf there and then make a shelf like there so yeah we'll see so I think I want it to be about here right across you know what it's supposed to be like a kind of a cute book shelf anyway all right I hate this color oh Ew. I like the folk art color way better Swallow half a sleeping pill left over from after my mom's funeral and fall asleep fitfully on the couch. I dream that I'm. Okay, so I painted the two shelves I'm gonna use, but they're obviously not even. But you know what? Whatever. Who cares? Okay. People get to choose how they space their bookshelves. They're not always even. Now I'm going to paint the books. Okay, now I'm going to use this color, Mossy Meadow by Folk Art, and it looks like this. Right now I'm gonna use Crushed Coral by Folk Art as well. Now I'm going to use Silver Marlin. Okay, now I'm going to use Succulent. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I just decide that I'm, I've gone through all my colors, so now I'm going to start repeating some of the colors. So I decide to start again with that like creamy color and start painting another book. Okay, so it's right about here that I realized that I didn't want the book to just go off my canvas. And so I have to make a little line to say where the book is going to end, which is why I look really awkwardly at the camera because I know that I've made a mistake. <laughs> and so now I'm going to have to paint the rest of the book and later on I will cover up that extended line of the book edge. So I've done the bottom row of books. This is what I have so far. Um, it's not bad. So I'm just gonna keep working my way up the bookshelf and uh, uh, I guess you'll just watch me do that. Okay, I realized I haven't used this color yet. It is gentle violet, so I'll use that. All right, I wanna apologize for the fact that you're about to see a lot of the back of my head. I needed to get close enough to the canvas um, just so that I could try to be more detailed. It was already really difficult to paint straight lines with holding my arm up like that. And so I kind of forgot that I was recording and just ended up getting really close to the canvas. So, uh, yep, just ignore the back of my head. All right, and I decided not to record myself painting the top shelf of books because I'm really just doing it at random and you guys understand the process. I just painted the top 
but since I feel like there's so much empty space there, I'm just gonna leave it for right now until I have an idea. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just going back in and I'm making small little adjustments, adding tiny little details. Um, mostly just making these lines at the top and the bottom of the book spines. Um, but then I also go in and kind of add some circles and rectangles to some of the book spines. Once again, you're, you're kind of seeing my head really close at times, so sorry about that. But yeah, I'm just going in with white paint and adding in minor little details here and there. I should also add that with these small details, I was focused on being laid back, not caring if the lines were straight, um, and also being okay if the bottom color, like that green right there, was showing through the white. Okay, now I'm going to try to paint the flowers and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so for making the flowers, I'm just taking different paint colors and making like really, like, I don't know, messy, scribbly paint splotches. And I've had to go over some of the colors twice because they were see-through. And then when I make the vines, I'm just using like one of the green colors that I use for my books. Um, I tried to use a really like um, fine tipped paintbrush. Um, like a flat fine tip paintbrush and I just kind of like make some squigglies and then really just use the paintbrush and I'm making like kind of rounded triangles as I go down and I'm just doing it kind of all over the page wherever I feel like I can. Um, so yeah, all I'm doing right now is just adding those vines in and as I was adding some of the vines in, I realized that I felt like I needed to make a couple more flowers so I do that as well. little circles and stuff in the middle and then she goes out and then out and then she also makes like roses but I don't know how she does that so <laughs> this is as good as mine good luck oh whatever Okay, so at this point, I'm just making little scribbly lines in the middle um, for the center of the flower and then trying to make flower petals and not being a perfectionist about it. Um, I really just try to copy the style of the girl from TikTok, so hopefully it, it turned out well. Honestly, looking at it closely, it doesn't look so great, but if you look at it from far away, it actually doesn't end up looking so bad. So after tracing over the flower petals or tracing the flower petals onto those blobs, then I was going over the different vines that I had drawn or painted. And so I just kind of followed the center green line down with the Sharpie and then made little loops where the leaves were. Um, and the goal was to just kind of keep it sloppy and messy so that it would look kind of carefree and um, ultimately end up looking cute and messy. Seems like she traces all the books um, around the edges and then goes over where she made those white marks. Okay, I finished the painting. I know that the shots weren't the best because it was just such a huge canvas, but here is my painting. So I'm really excited. It's not perfect and 
I know that, but I think it's really cool. Like I'm, I'm excited. The only thing that I don't like is that I feel like every other, you know, all the books are on a bookshelf except this is not on a bookshelf, it's on the bottom of the frame. So I kind of wish that maybe I had made that bottom line brown so that it would make it look like the books were on a bookshelf. And I don't love this big empty space here. So yeah, if I had just kind of like bumped everything up a little bit and added a bookshelf, I don't think I would have had as much of a problem. But I mean, overall, like I'm pretty happy with the results and I'm excited to hang it on my wall. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video at least. And maybe you can paint something like this. Although, like I said, I was following um, a TikTok girl kt canvas or something like that kt canvas but she does a lot of stuff like this her flowers are a lot better than mine and actually everything that she does is a lot better than mine but yeah so thanks to her for the idea and uh, thank you guys for watching i hope you guys find something you want to read soon and i will see you in my next video bye